Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'll be your host, Meme Lord McGee, and we're going to do a little Modern Horizons draft here on the Magic Box. Yes, and I had, I don't, so like, I don't like that, I had a bunch of, I had a bunch of video series on TCG Player named after myself, but it wasn't a matter of, like, it wasn't narcissism or vanity or anything, it was just because the names were good, right? Like, I had the Laboratory, which was like, the Laboratory, and I felt like that was just too good not to use, and I also had the Lapore Rapport, which is a play off the Colbert Rapport with the silent T. So it was just literally like it kind of just worked out where I was like, these are both good names, and like I just want to use them. And it really had nothing to do with me being like I need to have my name in the title. I didn't care about that at all. It was just a matter of like this is a this this works really well. Those were actually the the Lapore Rapport was suggested to me by an old friend Kit. And uh, the laboratory was actually suggested by, by someone, maybe. I don't even know. But you think it's Feaster? This guy never impresses me. There's so much removal in this format. You're just like, kill all my guys. I like gobl I got like Goblin Matron. Squirrel Nest is okay. I've never impressed with Squirrel Nest. It just feels like too much of an investment. You're rarely making a squirrel the turn you play it. And then the second turn, you're playing off curve. So you're making... I kind of like just Venomous Changeling here. But if I'm going to take a black card, it might be Feaster. Just because the upside is high, even though it is fragile. Uh, I don't think I've ever played a Tucker, Tucker Carlson-esque douche in my life. And I hope I never do. Yeah, I like Venomous Changeling. It just leaves you open. It does a lot of things. I also like Pondering Mage here, and then we can try to link... Oh, Pyrophobia, though. Yeah, I'm going to take the Pyrophobia. We haven't been black-red in a while, and that could be good. Pyrophobia is also one of the best removal spells in the format, in case you didn't know. Rocket 69, Rocket 69. Did you did you know Ponder Mage's ability lets you ponder? Hey, the coop the coop to doop. Um, do me a favor. Don't tell me how to live my life, buddy. Okay. I don't need you telling me how how Ponder Mage works. Okay. I'm gonna take Magmatic Sinkhole because you're not my dad. My bad, dang. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a little I'm sorry, I got a little defensive there. It's not you, it's me. I just oh man, I'm sorry. That was my fault. You didn't do anything to deserve that. I'm gonna take this second Rocket 60. I think it's Rocket 69. Wow, you guys both asked that back to back. It's Rocket 69 by Connie Allen. It's Rocket 69, which is the song was released in 1951. Was the 69 meme a thing in 1951? Is she just like way ahead of the time where she's like, yo, let's call it Rocket 69. And then the other dude's like, nice. In like 1951, can you imagine that? I'm taking Gluttonous Slug. Card's very good. Uh, I don't care about you. Don't, I don't, don't like this card at all. It might be Snow Covered Mountain. Yeah, I'm like, I'm afraid of fire. Yeah, buddy, everybody is. That's that's normal. I like Silumgar Scavenger. I reckon ancient Egyptians knew about sixty, <laughs> right? I, I bet they knew about it, right? But did they? Did was it a meme to them too, right? It's either this guy or it's the snow covered mountain. I think we're just thinking the scavenger. We don't have any reason to take snow covered mountain just yet. Just yet. I hear Throws of Chaos is actually pretty good. Uh, we used it once. It was fine. It's always going to be a spell, right? It turns your excess lands... <laughs> it turns your excess lands into... Uh, into things. They 
just called an ibis crocodile? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I can't. <laughs> oh, that shit's quality. Oh, God. Goblin Champion's fine. I like Bogard and Dragonheart a lot. Especially if, because it, it allows you to get the goat nappers. <laughs> just, I'm just I'm losing an Ibis Crocodile. Oh god, I can't. Someone's like, hey. See that Ibis Crocodile? And the other dude's like, nice. What do we got here? Don't like this guy. Nope, don't like that. Don't care about shenanigans. Ward Eye Witch is fine. I don't think the Black Red deck cares about snow covered things. Oh, as long as you draw two more cards, that's double strike. Like, that's just so rare in the Black Red deck, I think. This time I will take them out. And if we get like Alpine Guide, I think, like, how do you like this one? I've actually enjoyed it. It's no cube for sure. Bogarden, Dragonheart, or Goat Nap. How many sacrifice outlets do we have? We just have the one, right? And then, like, Scavenger. But you're not going to be able to Goat Nap and Scavenger in the same turn. I'll take Dragonheart, because I think it's probably just a... Why this format over the cube? Because the cube is not up. The only cube is the single elimination version, and it sucks. Like, I don't want to play single elimination cube. I want to be able to play three rounds of Magic the Gathering. Uh, Vengeful Devil actually killed us. It might be better than this. Yeah, I'll just take it over Goat Nap. I think it's actually fine. Yeah, this guy's whatever. Rocket six. Oh, munition expert. Yeah. That's the guy you're looking for. Uh, magmatic sinkhole is also very good. We also don't have enough. Maybe we just don't actually. We only have like two goblins so far. Could just be double sinkhole. I don't like sinkhole that much because it's six mana. So like your odds of. You're not going to have that much to delve, but. Yeah, I think this card is good enough. Area of Flame, I don't think you're good enough. However, there's nothing else in this pack. Nah, I still don't think it's good enough. I think it's probably just snow-covered swamp here. Uh, and by swamp, I mean mountain. Yeah. Whew. Oh man, I, I didn't even get a single Aeon of Echo of Aeons in my boxes. That's sad. I, I don't mind a first Sphere Gargantua. I, I do like... God, Battle Scourge is almost worth taking just to like... Just to pivot into white. Oh, that's gross. I don't think it is, but... Oh god, Battle Screech. We have no other white cards, right? Battle Screech is better than my white cards, but or my my black cards, but we also have no other white. I'm just gonna. It's better than one Gargantua. Maybe we get it. Maybe we get another one. Oh, Goblin War Party. Sure, sure, that's good. Lava Belly Sliver. 
if we're doing the white thing. There's no black cards in this pack, so... <clears throat> How many slivers do we have? Literal none? Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Settle, settle Beyond Reality is fine. Can we blink anything good? Eh, not really. Munitions expert. <laughs> I don't know. This pack's also pretty bad. Eh, I'll take the settle because why not? I feel like I'm still pretty undecided on my second color. Nether Spirit's terrible. Azra Smoke Shaper, not great. I don't think I need the third book Garden Dragonheart. Just Diabolic Edict, maybe? Unearth is actually fine. You can cycle it for two. Get back Venomous Changeling, Dragonheart. Getting back Munitions Expert is nice. Yeah, we'll take the Unearth. Ooh, Undead Augur and Goat Nap. Is Orcish, is Goblin Aura Flame just busted? I don't think it's this guy. I mean, this is just literally a 2-2 two, two for 2 that draws you a card when it dies. <clears throat> do you still do any form of modern series for YouTube? I mean, I post modern videos regularly on YouTube. I mean, I just had an article go... I just had a video go up this week about, like... I think it was, like, literally yesterday about black-white tokens. And it was a deck that someone proposed... I'm gonna take the Gore Flam. Two two for two to two two for two. I am the Eggman. Woo! Wow, the mag wow. Is this is this wow? Is this the no? There's no way that was the first pick one, right? I'll take Aria Flame here. This pack's pretty bad. Tectonic Reformation, I guess. Mm, Reckless Charge is fine. Meh. Not exciting. I am. Pocket Soldier's Deck Colonel Vader from my Yeah, definitely check it out. Give it a shot. It's a, It was actually a deck that uh, a regular viewer, Danny DB, commissioned me to do. If you guys want to have me look at decks of yours and play them and also want to support the stream, you can check out how to do that in my Twitch page and my Patreon page. But um, yeah, he uh, he had me commit. He, had, he wanted me to play a mono white Battle Screech tokens deck with uh, Sarafa? Safara? Safara. Because it sounds like Sephora. And um, it didn't go completely mono white because we added Bitter Blossom because it's just a great addition. But uh, it did pretty well. It did like 4 1. So I, I didn't feel like we were just out of. Uh... Wow. <clears throat> we haven't gotten. I mean, like. Uh, I think Winds of Abandon and Battle Screech are both better than the black cards we have. I think that's probably... Yeah. All right. So, Winds of Abandon is like one of the... Wow. Foil Echo Vions. Jeez. And a second Munitions Expert. Son of a biscuit. In a pack with, like, nothing great, unfortunately. Can we just splash the Munitions Experts? Steven, what's going on, buddy? I am the Eggman. Reprobate's fine, yeah. I don't hate it. I mean, I almost like Goblin Champion a little bit better, but... God, Munitions Expert. Double Munitions Expert is so good. I'm going to take the Munitions Expert here. Triple Munitions Expert is so good. I'm going to take the Munitions Expert here. Okay, so this is... Now we're... Oh, God. 
quadruple munitions expert is so good, right? So like you just want to take you just want to take the munitions. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh jeez. I can't. I seriously can't. Oh, and just like that, they were black again. Stop saying main board. That's not a thing. Main board is not a thing. Oh my god, that's my biggest pet peeve. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. It's not you. It's me. Okay. Oh god. Wow, the quad. The quad munitions experts. Jesus. Why isn't this enchantment goblin? Wow, did Mossy Beard and Hoss Mania both say how much mana do you play in your main board at the same exact time? Holy sh This is exactly why you guys are amazing. You guys literally said the exact same meme at the exact same time. Wow. That's amazing. That's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I was really- I was literally half expecting another munitions expert in this pack. I think it's just Goat Nap here. We still have double Bogarden Dragon Hearts. Oh, no, there's a Siege Gang Lieutenant in the pack. Never mind. Never mind. And by Siege Gang, I meant Sling Gang. You know what I meant. Goblin War Party? Okay. Okay, well, our deck is actual bonkers now. Goblin Engineer? I don't even care about you, to be honest. Switch over for an artifact, put it in the graveyard. You're just a goblin. That's literally why I would take you. I'm just going to take Settle. Whatever. There's nothing good in this pack. Another Throws of Chaos. Goat Nap. I do want to finally pick up a Goat Nap, and I don't think it's better than... Or I don't think it's worse than... I don't think we want a second of anything else, so... Hollow Head Sliver. I don't think I care about you. Eh, 2-2 two, two for 3 that, that rummages. Probably Reckless Charge, actually. I could care less about a Reckless Charge here. Can you imagine the, the games where we're like, oh, I'll get back. Oh, Return? Return from Extinction is actually amazing because we can get back two Munitions Expert. That's insane. Goblin Champion? Sure. And these cards are great. We'll just take the sideboard card. Remember how easy it was to switch back into black? <laughs> Jesus. I guess three, three Munitions Experts in a row is really where you want to be. I'm just going to kill all your creatures, my friends. I am the Eggman. Oh man, I thought this was another munitions expert. I got real excited. It was not. <whistles> yeah, Lava Dart's fine. I am the Eggman. Thank you guys for getting I Am The Walrus stuck in my head. Mr. City Policeman sitting pretty little policeman in a row. Fry Wilco, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. See how they fly like things in the sky. See how they fly. I'm crying. In a Dripping from a dead dog's eye. All right, so. I've got one cut to make. Do you keep your jeans high and tight? I don't. I keep them at about an average level, I think. Just a regular... I'm going to probably take out Gluttonous Slug here. This is only 12 creatures, but we also have Double War Party. 
I think it's fine. And an unearth to get back any of these munitions experts. This deck looks pretty good. 710. <clears throat> I think 710 is fine. We have no double black cards. Yeah, all right. Jeez. I'll keep this. It doesn't have any of our explosive things, but two Pyrophobia and a Throws of Chaos is pretty fine. One thing you want to keep in mind, though, is that Throws of Chaos is probably at its best when you have Munitions Expert targets, considering we have four of them in the deck. We don't have to worry about hitting Pyrophobias, but... Oh, we're playing against Chris wins. What if we what if we win? Is that awkward? That feels awkward. This is also nice because our throws of chaos can now hit a munitions expert. Should he change the title back? Change it back to modern now. Buddy, this isn't modern. This isn't modern horizons anymore. Should I should be like, are you really the Chris? Hey man, I've heard of you. Oh, biscuits. Well, we're gonna throw us of chaos here. Cascade. Ward Eye Witch? That seems fine. That was the top card of my deck. We couldn't even kill this because then they just sack this guy, make it a 3 3, and then you're basically just pyro pyrophobiaing this guy instead. I guess we could then pyrophobia it again, and then you're just killing both of these with two py pyrophobias, but that doesn't seem like a great deal. Every time a creature has uh, an ability that lets you sacrifice something, I always wish it had flash, but, you know, that's just the greedy in me. That was that was juvenile. <clears throat> Juposhi, what's going on? What am I guessing? Tell me. Tell me, Juposhi. Hmm. So here's a nice man in me will do. Nearly any task. As for conversation, there's a little ease. Sure. Oh, I hadn't gotten that far. <laughs> Nothing, I guess. Well, dang it, Juposhi. Unbelievable. Why are you like this? That was... Uh, Alright, I'll sack this guy. Ooh. But uh, I'm going to kill this guy now that they uh, don't have another way to pump it because, I mean, it just turns on all their goat naps. Hajigalashi, what's going on, buddy? We were actually just talking about... I feel like we mentioned you earlier. It might have been a ween thing. Wow. Well, they're going to sacrifice. This is exactly why we... Why we did this, so... Ask for compensation. So, 
Oh, it gets haste, though. Yeah, that's just good. I like keeping more goblins on board for the four munitions experts we have, but... Four two, huh? Oh wow. But oh what a wonderful feeling. So we just get this four, five, six, seven, eight. Um Yeah, we're gonna actually just go return, return two, we'll get this guy and ward eye witch. Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> uh, the new podcast that I'm doing with my friend Andrew is going to be called Franz. F-R-A-N-D-S. And it's just me and Andrew literally talking about nothing. Uh, where Where All My Friends is the one Andrew does. Andrew, my friend, he's in the music industry. He does a podcast called Where All My Friends. And it's about his friends who have become successful through their own means, like musicians, things like that. And he basically interviews them. And... Uh, that's his podcast and that went up on my youtube channel yesterday so definitely check that out my interview with andrew you get some backstory on who i am you get the you get the frank origin story really Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Oh, Aura Flam and Devil. We got a bunch of two drops here. That's pretty good. Oh, they didn't. Oh, boy. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Everything's going according to plan. Man and me will do. Nearly any task. That's for compensation. There's a little. I guess it's. I guess it's Ward Eye Witch. If we draw another land, if we draw another red source, we can play both of these, which is pretty nuts. If you write an autobiography, call it being Frank. I mean, like, I had Frank thoughts. That was, like, the little podcast I was doing for Patreon. Red. Oh, my God, guys. Can you even imagine... Munizione. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's actually fine. Shoot you for one. Yes. Shoot you for one more. Or flame. Or flame. Or flame. Munitions expert. Dragonheart. Dragonheart. Hear me calling. Uh, I want to play Ward Eye Witch because if they want to block either of these creatures, then we get to draw a card. Rocket 69, Rocket 16. For those of you guys who had the song out of your head. Hmm. 
Seven for both, huh? So this is actually five damage, six damage. So they just block here and here, still take two. What? Okay, well now I'm just cast. Well, I guess I'll just play this. I can't see how they. I and mean, if they have Goat Nap steal a guy, they still only attack for 12, right? We're at 20. Do you have any friends with the last name Stein? You could start a podcast called Frankenstein. That sounds terrible, but also amazing, but also terrible. Well, they don't have a discard outlet. I mean, that's what we were assuming they would do. So that's 10 damage. But they don't have a, not a discard, a sacrifice outlet, rather, is what I meant. All right, I'll take 10. And... Huh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Chris did not win. Chris wins. Did not win. I just saw a pretty good Frankenstein play Chicago Shakes. Play Chicago Shakes was a pretty good. I just saw a pretty good Frankenstein play Chicago. Sh I have no idea what that sentence means. At Chicago Shakes, is Chicago Shakes a, a venue? Oh, Chicago Shakespeare Theater. Oh, you guys, oh, you're using your, your short Chicago lingo. Yeah, we call it the Shakespeare Theater, the Shakes. We call it the Chicago Shakes. <laughs> okay, buddy, take it easy. The Chicago Shake Shack. They got Hamlet and hamburgers. How you like me now? <laughs> hey, you like hamburgers? How you like them hamburgers? That's not how the saying goes. Oh, shit. You're right. Yeah. 
What about something a little more Baroque? Frank gets Frank about Franks and pours thanks to the poor pours of old Finks he abhors. Okay, so we're not looking for podcast names, guys. I don't know why we're talking about podcast names. I'm not like, guys, what should I name this podcast? Come up with all your most obscure Frank-related puns in a podcast name and let me know. I'm not looking for podcast names here. Yeah, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what I always say. Have you ever been to the stream? This is what we do. That's fair. Why is this taking so long? Come on, I just want to play my second round. Is it because I beat Chris Wynn so badly that he was just like, no one, they can't find a, a match that, a, they can't find an opponent who will match the caliber of our deck? Rocket 69, Rocket 69. Tell me about that, Rocket 69. I just wanna jump in this Modern Horizons queue. Do we still do Pepper Talk around here? I mean, sometimes. You know, if we're feeling spicy. kind of answer oh man I'm just trying to help why don't you just name it this podcast already has a name and so don't you dare even suggest a single dumb name not even something cool like prank the floor with be mucho boy wonder I don't know what's taking so long. Do I just get out? Should I get out and get back in? Do I, did, should I try turning it off and back on again? Here's a let's let me. Here's a controversial question that I'm sure will rile the crowd and the YouTube audiences alike. What's the best standalone Marvel movie that you can go in and enjoy? You can get the most enjoyment out of without having any prior Marvel back. Uh, any other any of the other MCU movies. Iron Man's a good one. It feels Iron Man almost feels too easy just because all the first original movies that stand on their own. Cap 2. Cap feels pretty good. I tried to watch Guardians and I totally don't get why everyone loves it so much. It's like fine. I actually watched I watched Guardians one the other day and it was great. Man, Josh, I'm so sad that we disagree here. I loved it. I was like, this is great. It still holds up. Peter Quill's still great. Gamora's still great. Drax is still great. It's because the whole cast, the whole cast just goes together really, really well. Spider-Man 3. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
That was my Toby Toby McGuire face. For those of you watching on YouTube, I'm, I'm very sorry about this delay in our matches here. Punisher War something or other with Ray Stevens? No, sir. Hodge Gulashi, get out. All right, everyone, I've been booted. Have a good night. <laughs> well, we'll see you later. Okay, this has been like eight minutes, guys. I'm so sorry. I feel bad because I don't want to cut this out because then it's awkward. Like, the conversation just gets... It's just like... A bloop, bloop, and then you're like, what were they talking about? What happened to all the chat? Like, I want to leave it because if someone wants to watch all this and, and, have, and hear the discussion... That's fine. If they don't, they can still fast forward. They have the right to do that. So it's kind of the best of both worlds, right? They're like, man, where did Hajigalashi go? He was just here. I saw him in the chat. Where did he go? Okay, hear me out. Blade 2. Venom 2018 and Blade 2 back to back, huh? Well, we stopped taking this seriously, I guess. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, let's go. This is ridiculous. I'm actually serious? I mean, I'll be honest. I'm looking forward to Blade with Mahershal Ali. Mahershal Ali is insane. That dude has some range. I enjoyed the crow, but I really don't think it stands. Also, this was a this is a conversation regarding the MCU. And you guys are... You're, I don't consider Blade part of the MCU, right? Like, I don't consider Fantastic f the four... Oh, God, that movie was atrocious. Oh, God. The Godfather 2. That's a solid choice, actually. I just want this match to start, guys. I don't know what's going on. I feel really bad now because our deck is insane. I just want to crush Scrubs as quickly as I can. Blade is technically the first Marvel studio. That's not. That doesn't count as the Marvel Cinematic Universe, though, my friend. I'm sorry. Uh, my favorite scene in Doctor Strange is when he's going through his drawer of watches. And, um, God, what's the watch he has? Oh, my God, I can't remember. Oh, it's not a Patek Philippe. It's, uh, it's really nice, though. It's definitely not a Swatch watch. It's not a Vacheron, no. It's it's really nice. It's, uh, God, I can't think of the name. Which is funny, because I, like, screen-capped it, and I was like, oh, yes. It's not a secret. <laughs> oh, my God, we finally did it. Uh, Doctor Strange watch. Oh god, I know what it is. I know what it is. Thank you. 
Oh, it's a Shazier. It's a Shazier LeCoult. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a Shazier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's insane. It's like a hundred and twenty thousand dollar watch. Uh, Jack of all trade. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. I feel like if you have a Rolex and you're bringing it to work, you probably have to work somewhere where someone's not going to steal your Rolex. And if you can afford a Rolex, you should probably be working somewhere where people aren't just going to take it, right? So that's that sucks. That doubly sucks. That's not my favorite part. It's one of my favorite parts. It's, it's one of my favorite parts because the Jager Lecolte is not like a super common watch, but it is a super luxurious watch. And that attention to detail is really nice. You know what I mean? Like, like they really paid attention to Stephen Strange's like vanity. Which is just great. My watch just has a big Batman symbol on it. <laughs> I do. I just want to walk by watches to pass the time. That's fair. Hmm. Let's play you, I guess. What's this guy? Whenever you're permanent control, you can start to Whenever you are a permanent, you control, not just like the creature type. Well, that's something. Well, isn't that special? Let's go second red. We'll munitions expert this guy. Yes. See you later. Bye. Oh, boy. Oh, Uranus, you actually said it. That's actually hilarious. I, I didn't even get your abbreviation. Oh, that's insane, dude. Yeah, my nicest watch purchase so far, because I'm a, I'm a streaming pleb is uh, Omega Speedmaster, which I which I love and I'm I'm a huge fan of it because it's one of my it was one of my favorite watches. Um It's always been a watch on like my It's always been a watch on my like bucket list, my 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 dream wa my grail watch list. Um because I just love the pedigree of it. It's just one of. It's just a great watch. Uh, three, four, five. If we we could shoot them for one. Put them to fifteen. Sacrifice attack for five, six, seven, eight, and five, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can deal nine damage. Put them to seven. Would you say it's on your watch list? It's true. I would say that. I guess we can just attack with these gents for now. Yeah, just start a new, just start a new fancy, just start a new fancy watch. watchbucket.com is this a thing I can't tell if this is a joke like a watch bucket list that's gotta be a joke right <laughs> it's on my watchbucket.com list get in there oh actually oh I like that we can block with the Bogarden Dragon the Bogarden Dragonborn You don't. You think you're a watch? You call yourself a watch fan, and you don't even like. You don't even know watchbucket.com, idiot. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Um, 
I remember me and Paul would take our watch bucket down to the time river and get a fresh bunch of watches to cook up for supper. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Just stop it. <sighs> I can't. Oh, God, I just can't. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. We could kill this guy and then attack for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put them to five. I think this is just, I think it's just better to sinkhole and uh, keep this guy up to do the thing. Why don't we have hologram watches yet? Instead, we just have Shea Shea LeColtz and, and Patek Philippe's and just all kinds of bullshit. Just a bunch of bullshit watches. Come on. Sunny D's gonna burn your throat. Got him. That's a twofer. I appear in the Green Lantern movie for our two seconds, which is coincidentally also the best part. What? That's insane. That's a crazy meatball. So we can actually play this guy, sack this guy, deal a point, sack this guy, and then we're attacking for nine? Hmm. And we get a bunch of triggers too. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, we can put that on top, sure. Hot town, sunny in the delight. Back of my throat getting burned. <laughs> Jesus God. All right, we win this game too. Our deck is uh, our deck is unreasonably good. I don't I don't say this often, but I'll say it now. It is unreasonably good. They also have we saw the bows card. Maybe we bring in shenanigans. I worked on Green Lantern 2 as an extra nine days of 12 hour shoots a day for my two seconds of fame. Oh man, can you, you should totally link a screenshot of you in the chat. In that, that would be hilarious. I would love to see that. Yeah, I don't care about b bows. I agree, late night chat is tops. All around me, people looking half dead, walking on the sidewalk hotter than a sunny day. That was not, probably not great, right? Hot time, sunny day in the city. Back of my neck, but da 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 da. All right, well, did I? What happened there? Now I have the song stuck in my head, which was also in a Die Hard movie. Worth noting. Man, I'm surprised. I'm surprised you don't have that screenshot saved somewhere. I would have the high res screenshot of me and Green Lantern, and I would just be like, "I was in Green Lantern." You want to see? And then I would just show people me and Green Lantern. Is this constructed draft? It is. Yes, it is a constructed draft deck. We open 14 packs, then you just build a constructed deck out of the 14 packs.
find more colors in a match head. All right, you got a little creepy eyes. Die Hard 1 is fantastic. Die Hard 2 could use a little work. Die Hard 3, also fantastic. And then I think everything after that's kind of like, eh. I'm going to block here. I don't know if they're still making them. Well, that's unfortunato. Our deck is great, but when we don't hit two drops and we hit eight lands, it's pretty rough. Ugh, we can't even magmatic sinkhole here. I think we're just dead. It don't feel good. Oh my god, Zedrate. Zedrate, which one are you? Are you the chef? <laughs> that's fucking, that's fantastic, dude. That's insane. Are you on the right? Which one are you? The guy to the right of the chef, then. Because I thought someone mentioned chef, so I just assumed. Oh my god, dude. That's fantastic, dude. Yeah, the chef is just a little, a little chubbier Channing Tatum. All around me, people looking half dead, walking on the sidewalk, harder than a match head. I hate that you got this song stuck in my head. It does make me want to watch Die Hard, though. Yes. And now, we block. Why don't they do this first and then attack for with this as well? I don't understand. Oh god, really? Really munitions expert, really. You could have I could have played both of them at the same time. Dealt two, dealt two, but had the two extra mana. This is just unacceptable. What? When did that guy get suspended? This is all too much. There's too much happening right now. care about these guys. We could just munitions expert again, but that doesn't seem exciting. Yeah, that guy's fine. That guy's gonna get... Why aren't they attacking with this?
Actually, what do we have here? Is it better to kill this or this? Probably this. This guy's only coming down sometimes. It's also threatening six damage, not three. So, Cal Sal, what's going on, Sal? Good seeing you, buddy. Oh, not, not okay. All around the people looking half dead or walking on the sidewalk. Gonna go to next game. Well, we can't, like, we can we can manage this board, but we can't deal with the knight. Um... I think we're I think we're still I think we're fine. That was just a not an ideal draw. Also, Gluttonous Slug seems pretty good. Take it over Goblin Champ. I think it's just a stronger card. And <sighs> Snap Keep. Ocean Man. Have you changed your opinion on Pauper? No, I haven't really considered Pauper since probably the last time we spoke about it. Oh wow, they went to they went to five. That's pretty rough. with what is arguably a very good hand for us. I hate you, Hossmania. I hate you. I hate you all. You guys are actually terrible. Actually terrible. I'm just gonna kill this now. Oh, uh, it gets the it gets the the pyrophobia in our graveyard for magmatic sinkhole. They have to spend another turn if they want to play this, and they can't actually recast the next one. Sure. Well, we missed a land drop, unfortunately. Come on. This is kind of fun, though. It's not worth dealing one to to take two, but keep in mind, guys, it does take two to make a thing go right. <laughs> this is how we lose this game. Turn six, miss three land drops. How many cards do we have? Seven? Okay, well, we can just pass here. This guy's obnoxious, but...
Oh god, that was so dumb. <laughs> Actually, maybe it's not. Maybe we want it. Oh god, that was so bad. I wanted to kill this guy first. Now we're only dealing two. I wanted to kill the Man of War before it was a 3-3. Three, three. I mean, maybe this is correct because you want to unearth it. I don't know. But, like, I mean, we still could have killed it, then blocked the 3-3 three, three and prevented 3 damage. Like, we still could do the same exact things. If we just play it correctly. Oh, is this just a 1-1 one, one cat? Come on, seriously? This is frustrating. <clears throat> You're the meaning in my... Oh, God. Stop it. I guess it doesn't matter if you mull to five if you literally just hit all your castable cards and double mana wars. Then you actually end up being way ahead. Really? You just trade with this guy? I mean, if we can hit one land here, we can go Ward Eye Witch followed by an Earth. Guess that's too much to ask for. Oh boy. That's really obnoxious. So now we go to three if they don't have any answer, and we die if they do. I mean, alternatively, we can Magmatic Sinkhole kill this guy, but then we lose both Munitions Experts, which is not ideal with this. Eight turns, three lands. I mean, what are, what are you going to do? Can't win them all. Yep, of course they have it. Fantastic. Sweet mold of five. Absolutely a match we should not have lost. <laughs> Going 2-1 with this deck is absolutely a joke. And that's if we even win the last round. But Hey, that's life. I hate that you guys got have got this in my head. When you love somebody, always on my mind. I mean, I do like Chicago. Don't get me wrong. Read my bits message. That should help. I got a pocket full of pocket full of pocket. I didn't even know that song actually. I don't even think I know that Pocket Full of Sunshine song. His hands, man.
Well, that guy's hard to deal with as far as as far as munitions experts go. Another red source. Okay, we're having a good time. So I guess we figured out the only way this deck could lose uh, is by literally just not being able to play the game. <laughs> I chew ASMR stream. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, that's fine. This is probably going to be busted. Okay, well that's gone. That's gone. Force of oh, she got one. You got one mountain. I think we're cycling on Earth here. I love on Earth, but we also have. Okay, that's what we wanted. All right, sure. Phobia and a swamp, sure. <laughs> you got it. Okay, now we're definitely killing this thing. I'm about done with your milling shenanigans. Um, single, two, three, one, two, three. That seems good. I mean, I have a feeling they're going to spell snuff it with their second blue source. If they're playing one spell snuff, they're probably playing multiples. Now we have a return from extinction to get back sling gang and munitions expert number three. <laughs> oh god. Sure. Nice basic island nerd. <laughs> Just kidding. Soul herder with no other creatures on board, and we have a munitions expert. Oh, another swamp is exactly what we were looking for here. Yep. One, two. Return these two. That seems good. You could say you're a mun munitions pro. Do you mean Do you mean expert? Oh, that's a cool bird. That's a cool bird. I'm just going to kill it. 
Oh, you know I played these two, so that was an interesting choice. Munitions man, take me by the hand. Put your bird in the garbage can. Munitions man. I mean, their deck looks great. Soul Herder, Cancrix, Force of Negation, Kess, Double Spell. Okay, I guess some of those cards are not great, but. I mean, our hand is Throws of Chaos, Munitions Expert, Pyrophobia. So I feel like we're in okay shape. Our Munitions Expert will currently do 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 damage. Seems good. I guess I counted all my guys and it literally just says it on here. Five goblins! And this would be the sixth when it enters the battlefield. Yeah, that's a fine five. If you're going to spend your turn doing that for five, I'm okay with it. We got, what, one, two, three, four, five power on board? Seems fine. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever you got to do, my dude. Oof. I'm getting hungry. I'm going to have my 2 a.m. dinner after this, guys. I haven't eaten since, I don't know, like 4 o'clock. Let's see what happens. Let's be a cascade and... Oh, give me the goblin. Sure. Well, you can stay home. I made nachos for dinner, so no pepper jack meatball stuff for me tonight. God, Chris, I'm so sorry, buddy. I already had an impossible opera earlier today. That was my that was my lunch basically, and it's also two two thirty a.m. So the odds of me being able to do that very low. Chiller pillar. This guy's a real chiller pillar of the community. Hmm. Book Dragon Dragonheart, eh? What do you do? I don't know how BK works. The bottom tier fast food is that. Wow. That's messed up. That's hateful. You're hateful. I have one card in hand. Okay. I'm just going to play this. We can go like this. Play Dragonheart. Sack just a regular token. Or we can sack the champion. The champion is actually just worse right now. B -b but exalted B -b -b butterfree I have no interest in letting you letting you get away I'm okay dad so we can sack one two three four five creatures not quite lethal I wonder if we could have done anything differently this turn to make it more lethal than it would have been Yeah, the games are going well, except for the last round where we just got really mana hindered. They have one card in hand. I'm pretty sure they're just dead, right? I don't wanna. I don't wanna presume anything, but sure. You just, you just gonna bounce a goblin. You're gonna bounce your own gentleman. 
This is actually fine, because if you want to replay it, I'll just kill the Man of War and you'll, you'll, be, you'll be dead. Oh, Frostwalla, keep on rolling, Mississippi Moon Wonder. Keep on rolling on me. I'm about to bust. Let's go to mend. And let's go to the next game. Munitions expert number four, perhaps? Hmm? What's the hold up here? What's the hold up? Hold up. They conceded from the game. Uh, I did not send the Evangelion King of the Hill intro, but I also have never seen Neon Genesis Evangelion, so. So. This card's all colorless, non-land cards, multicolor cards, that doesn't do anything. I think we're actually fine. Munitions expert costing three and then hitting players. You're like, all right, I'll do you five. I'll do you six. No way. That's insane. Then you're just, it, then it's just shaman of the pack at instant speed that can deal damage to players and creatures. And it's actually busted, especially because goblins are very, very effective at ugh, slamming the board. Whatever that means. keep yeah i take that back make it for me yeah three mana seems way too good i'd be like wow this card's insane beep, beep. coming through Coming through again. Anyone want to play some Pogs? Yeah, I'll play some Pogs with you. I got my sweet slammers. Yeah, that guy's fine. Would you guys like to play Pogs with me? <laughs> I like to keep this guy in the chamber because it's... uh. Giving it haste is nice. It's a nice little surprise that they don't get they can't really play around, whereas this guy just gets to attack for two next turn. And it's much harder to block. So Oh, I like that even better. Attacking as a four three is pretty okay. Oh, they missed the land drop. It's fascinating. There was another land drop? Oh, they didn't. They were just slower all Did you ever play anything else on stream? Was it Josh donated? Uh, I don't think it was Josh donated 50. I think he, he donated something, but uh, we haven't played anything else on stream. Maybe we can play something else tomorrow? I don't know. I would like to. I think it'd be fun. 
I don't know what to play though. I don't know if I want to play a long game, like a Witcher type game that I like it's going to be a real commitment or if I want to play a game like Gone Home. I don't know if you guys know Gone Home. I've been meaning to play Gone Home and I think that's a shorter game, like around probably like six hours maybe. Or if I want to play like a Slay the Spire type game, which is kind of similar to the things I play, but different enough to like really to, to just be a different experience. Super Fritz, have a good night, buddy. May all of your may all of your sweet onion teriyaki sandwiches have sweet onion sauce on them. This is a lot of a lot of peeking you're doing here. This guy's out flying now. Woo. It was like 82 or something around. It was based on rounding down to the nearest hundred on my bank. <laughs> Josh, I love you, buddy. Josh, do you have any preference? Borderlands? I've never gotten into Borderlands, and I don't think I'm going to. Death Stranding looks way too interesting to avoid. Doom Eternal? I haven't played through the first Doom. Um, And then we have... Uh, Final Fantasy VII? Eh... I don't know. I'm a big Final Fantasy 3 fan. I think Final Fantasy 3 was my peak Final Fantasy for me. Or, you know, 6 in Japan, whatever you want to... Whatever you want to call it. Um, let's throws first, because if we had a removal spell, we want to be able to uh, kill this guy. I'm sorry, what just happened? We hit it on Earth. Wow. <laughs> okay. I was like, wait, why didn't did I did I not click on it or something? Well, they got that snow land. It was actually pretty good. <laughs> sure. Still choose you. So next turn, if we sack something trivial like this, we can attack for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we sack this guy instead, magmatic sinkhole should just cost seven instead, and then he can hit players as well. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Uh, I am not going to GP Vegas. I'm going to GP Twitch stream. That's not a thing. I just made that up, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to mislead you. I feel like they're doing a lot of tanking here. I 
That's pretty good, but it doesn't do anything here because we have this beautiful magmatic sinkhole. And despite getting rid of a retrace card, this has got to be done. I'm selling tickets to GP Twitch stream. Everyone just message me directly and I'll get you taken care of. Lots of package deals. Yikes. That could mean anything. Yeah, Kess is pretty scary. I mean, there's nothing in the graveyard that's terribly scary right now, but... Oh, man. It's funny because G GP Vegas is probably going to have like 10,000 players, right? And you're like, oh, I was going to GP Vegas. I know like 10 people. And it's like, it's not that many. Okay, so it didn't do anything. So let's say they have Spell Snap in hand, which they have like two of, which is better. This, I'll let's go Dragonheart to resolve, right? One, two, three, four. And if they have double Spell Snuff, it's, I mean, we can't do anything, but I think we're still okay. I think I'd rather have the permanent Oriflame on board than the, than the Dragonheart. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is lethal, so. What's the hold up here? All right, we're sticking this guy down too. I don't know what the holdup is here with all these things. I just want my Oriflame to resolve. Opponent is buying tickets to GP Twitch stream. Hey, I'll check your website. Can I get uh, tickets to GP Twitch stream? Yeah, man, for sure. Okay. I mean, do they have settler wreckage? I don't understand what like choking, choking tethers, perhaps. I'm gonna go to combat. There's no settle. They could have winds, but winds is double white and a sorcery. So I guess we'll just attack with these guys. This is nine. They didn't counter anything that we did. Uh, sure. That's a bird. You exile. Which ward I witch and block this guy, and then you take four. Is 
Oh, uh, sure. It's a good solid. That's a solid play. Huh. You block munitions expert. Still take four. Doesn't really change anything. Is the problem? Oh, that's good. Oh, we're just getting a solid trade here. And we get a scry out of it? What a deal. Bottom. I might have kept that if we still had the throws of chaos in the graveyard. <laughs> Meeting internet friends at GPs is important. Boy, I met an internet friend at a GP once, and it literally changed my life. Literal life-changing experience. Oh, it was actually Mean Mugger in the chat. That's literally who it was. I met you at a GP once. It didn't change my life, but it was cool. That's cool. That's all I could ask for. That's all I, that's all I want is it just to be kind of cool. And that's how you 2-1 with the most broken deck in Modern Horizons. You make sure you don't draw any lands in one of your second rounds and matches, and then you draw all the wrong lands in the other ones. So either way, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, on Patreon, on ManaTraders.com, on CoolStuffInc.com. Check me out on all the places, and I'll see you guys next time. You're awesome. I love you guys. See you later.